To get to Mogren Palace, approach Ledge Road and do the Ruin Farm early game, first go to the side of Grace on the map, which is the first step, and talk to the masked NPC. He stands there until you kill Godric, and then he moves to the Rose Church. If you kill the masked guy, go to the Church of Vows and use Celestial Dew, which resurrects and restores all NPCs. Talk to the masked guy who gives you Fester and Bloody Finger. Invade three people's games using this finger. You don't need to kill them, so don't worry about whether you win or lose your fights. After your three invasions, return to the masked guy. He'll tell you to get the Blood of the Maiden. Now go to the four Belfries and at the top of the hill, open a chest for the imbued Sword Key. Use a portal close by to bring you to the tutorial area. Kill the boss. Go to the dead maiden in the church and get Lord of Blood's favor from her. Go back to the Rose Church and talk to him until he gives you the Pure Blood Knight's Medal, which would teleport you to Mogan Palace. Now before we go there, here's how to get the bow and arrow. From the first side of Grace in the map, which is the first step, go down the hill, turn left, and descend the mountain until you get to the beach, which is where a merchant is where you can buy a bow and arrow. The rock sling spell also works on the bird. You're gonna run out of arrows at some point, so buy a bunch from the merchant so extra ones get stored in your chest, which happens automatically when you buy a lot. After you teleport to this location, Mogwin's Palace, after using the Pure Blood Knight's Metal, you're gonna be looking at these stairs. Get on your horse and turn around, and hug the right side of the mountain at first, until you see this bloody pool area. Once you see that, then hug the left side of this area, and you're gonna do that until you see this grassy slope with enemies on it, and you won't miss it by doing this. Now we're at the location, and we're going to shoot the crow. It'll run toward you, fall off the cliff, and that's how you get your runes. As you can see, this is how many runes I get normally, with the gold scarab and the gold pickled foul foot. Stacked. You can move directly from the set of grace and shoot it, which makes it fall and saves time. Go to the set of grace, go to sort chest, go to the arrow tab, which you can see right here. Then press triangle, and you're going to get those extra arrows that got stored away in your chest. Choose how many you want to bring over, and we're going to do max, and that's how you get your arrows, and we can resume the farm. Now we're going to use the rock sling spell, and for this, you do want to go to the right a little bit, because the rocks are going to hit the branches. So you have to wait just a little longer, but it still does the trick. To leave this area, bring up the map, and then press R3, and now you see above ground. Then just choose a site and fast travel. And then to travel back there, then just press R3 again, and you'll be able to select Palace Approach Ledge Road. And just one last additional tip, guys. If you sprint from the side of Grace to the cliffside, you'll be able to catch the bird to the left of the right branch. But if you're a little slow, when you go to the cliffside, you're going to have to aim to the right of the big right branch. Thanks for watching, guys. Like and subscribe for more.